to Mackinac Island for the final miles of this my third Great Lakes adventure. This is the third and final adventure in my trilogy about our beautiful Great Lakes. What follows now is a little little taste of what the book will be next year. I'll show you some of the islands I visited, uh, some videos and some uh, some photos. As part of my 1,000 mile Great Lakes island adventure, I am taking part in some scientific research going on on the islands and on the islands of North and South Manitou Islands in, uh, on Lake Michigan, in Lake Michigan. They're studying and conserving uh, the piping plover. This is an endangered shorebird. I also visited Kelly's Island on Lake Erie. This island has some of the most dramatic and accessible glacial grooves anywhere in the world. This is an area of limestone that has been carved and shaped by the glaciers over 10,000 years ago. I also traveled to Belle Isle with two of my favorite people, and we visited the lovely Scott Fountain that has been restored on Belle Isle in the Detroit River. It is on this site on Oak Island in the Apostle Islands that I have reached the halfway point of my 1,000 mile Great Lakes Island adventure. I've hit the 500 mile mark. Okay. Kayaking with my niece and nephew, Julian and Allison, on this portion of the adventure. And we are with a, a group uh, out of Bayfield uh, on a three day trip through the Apostles. Having an incredible time. This is the halfway point. This is Julian paddling in the waves. Look at him. Look at him feather that blade. Look at him. He's amazing. <laughs> I'm on Grand Island today in the bay by Munising, Michigan. This is Lake Superior. Julian is an Isle Royal. <laughs> And this is the next hill I get to climb. People are on it, so you can kind of get the scale. Or I have to go from here, up there. And this is not the first hill today. This is the 14th hill. <laughs> this is a very rugged trail that runs the length of the, of the island called the Manong. But this is the view after that climb. It's worth every step. Isle Royal is a rugged and wild place. And at one point we had to cross a river on a felled tree because the bridge had been washed away. We were in search of moose bones. And here I am with a moose skull and antlers. I am on the cup and saucer trail in Ontario on Manitoulin Island. This is the largest island in the Great Lakes and the largest island on fresh water, completely on fresh water, in the world. This island you see behind me is Treasure Island. It is the largest island that is floating in a lake on the largest island floating in a freshwater lake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Treasure Island is on Lake Mindamoya, which I'm kayaking right now. And this lake and island are located on Manitoulin Island, which is the largest island in the Great Lakes. Manitoulin Island uh, forms part of the barrier between Lake Huron and the North Channel. So island in a lake on an island in a lake. I am biking on the beautiful Toronto Islands. 
This is a grouping of little little islands just offshore, about a mile and a half offshore from the city of Toronto. Uh, most of these islands are parklands. There's a little amusement park for little kids. There are fountains and beautiful plantings and really old, magnificent trees, especially willows here. So it's kind of a, a place for the city dwellers to retreat to. Uh, and it's, this is the Lake Ontario side, obviously. The beautiful long boardwalk here. And this is a Friday in September 2014. You can see I have the place almost to myself. Really beautiful. I am kayaking on the St. Lawrence River near the town of Brockville, exploring the Brockville Islands here. Just a beautiful part of the Great Lakes Basin. All the water from the Great Lakes eventually flows down the St. Lawrence River, except the water diverted at Chicago. So all of this water was once in the upper Great Lakes. Just beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, this is the end of September. This is September 26th, and it is in the high 70s. And just, as you can see, gorgeous. The leaves are just starting to change. And this is Flower Pot Island. This island sits at the tip of the Bruce Peninsula in Lake Huron and is named after these unique limestone stacks found there. These are just a few of the many islands I visited on my Great Lakes Island adventure. The book will be called A Thousand Mile Great Lakes Island Adventure and will be released in 2015. Find it at your local independent bookstore.